They were there initially. That probably means they've rotated off. In fact, it's just a re-aggression through Hooker. Yeah, these players coming out with 15 seconds left. Addy's able to take himself a double, and Fisker's still here to try and run the clock down. But Red Gar and Nats show up just in time. Two seconds left as the spike goes down, but now they're in trouble. Neth, one versus... Never mind. When it's like this, I wish I brought my laptop with me, Tom. Kinda, <laughs> I actually need to buy them. I've, I've got yeah, my laptop Before we me. forget, I'll end up buying the whole pack one by one. It'll be a Reaver Vandal situation all over again. With a minute left on the clock, Razor Raccoon's just tucking in. They know exactly what yeah. Gambit like to do. They're aware of the slow play. They have managed to get Nats in. Uh, this is spotted by Addy. He knows that he's about to take a fight, but he's taken down by a wide swing out of Nats. A quick kill and possibly an upgrade in a moment. This could get a little bit dangerous. Yeah, the control he have makes things a little bit awkward. Rotation already coming through. Nice work from Neff, though. The blast back in. The aftershock, I think, of his teammate are actually going to hold him back a little bit longer. And the shaky fight, but they're on the defuse. Nats is going to have to go running through his own utility just to try and get that little bit closer, and he will be sectioned off. It's left all on to Shados, and he doesn't stand a chance. A great start. That's what you're going for. Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll start. We'll start it slow. We'll start it slow. <laughs> Nats taken down right away. Munchkin is getting away with a lot here before Defo eventually takes him down and puts Gambit with the man advantage. You'll notice that you know, a lot of the time when a fight like that comes in, you've got two picks. This is where teams really huddle up. They start to move towards the site. But again, this is the team that we're looking at. Gambit, it's not 20 slow second mark, and steady. This 45 seconds left, that's basically the buy time. Yeah, they got they got ages to play with. Now, Bazzi's in a decent spot. He has a fair amount of utility to try and slow them down, but he almost has to act, I was going to say, as a sentinel. Instead, he's been instantly removed, and the remaining two players are still to rotate. Okay, sure, maybe the paint shells can do a little bit to try and do some damage, but forcing them back isn't going to do too much unless they can find themselves a pick here, and all the angles are covered. Neff still manages to find a pick, though, but the blast pack doesn't grant him anymore. Defo with a triple. Another flash which blinds the player towards the back, and here comes the execute. Yeah, they've used a cosmic divide of their own. This, this one always oh, makes here. me a little bit uncomfortable because you can pop wow. flash through it, but every single so timing good. peak was perfect. And of course, Nats, the man just doesn't miss. He's just wiping them all down. It's very individualistic, though, from Crazy Raccoon. One by one, they peek into this man, and no surprise, one by one, they fall. <laughs> okay, Redgar didn't expect anybody to be that far behind at that stage. An ambitious flank play, for sure. I have to say, when you look at Gambit's play in the early round, that, that round right there i mean it's just so nice man you see shados flashing into bat the first time sections it off knows okay next 20 seconds or so there's not really going to be anyone pushing through then goes for a second flash that blinds up neth so they know he's in there cosmic divide down they rush in they take neth down and then that's when you see the other player try to come through to trade his teammate yeah. but Nats is just on a swivel taking that kill as well i mean obviously they well, they're getting out of here with at least two. Let's see if it's all three. Bazzi doing quite a bit of damage on that one. But ultimately, having already given Gambit five rounds, the economy is going to be the least of their concern. It means that Gambit are going to have to be a little bit more proactive, a little bit more aggressive, and sometimes that's where they suffer. However, Depo trades oh. things back very quickly. Munchkin unluckily hitting the shot through the wall, so it's not a kill, but Defo's shots right. definitely are. A four versus two comes out of absolutely nowhere. The showstopper still in play for Ned, but does he deploy it? No, he absolutely doesn't, because Defo takes him down before he can even reach for his keyboard. This and they just like, nope, that Take message. the good with the bad. <laughs> They need to go back to their champion of Rivington. Oh, oh. Nice shot though. Okay, Bazzi, Munchkin finding a couple. Shados at least available on the trade and the showstopper. Great. It's finally been popped and it's been put to good use. It took us eight rounds, but we got there in the ninth and Munchkin is just one away from Bladestorm. Plus he's managed to recover that rifle. This is looking like a fantastic round and a potential bounce back for a crazy raccoons that otherwise have just been dominated at every single turn. Redgar quickly takes down Addy. Those Astra stars no longer gonna be worrisome. And Redgar continues the IGL, certainly thinking he's a duelist in this moment. I mean, when he's playing with just Chronicle, having the post-plant capabilities that he does, maybe he is a duelist. Oh, he's 
has been spotted out up close, but this is Chronicle's moment to shine. The Flash on its way over. He has been spotted on the backside. Great information to play with, but Crazy Raccoons are falling left, right, and center. Redguard, the last man alive. Postplant stars are down. Munchkin won't be able to get this defuse in right away. He has to try to bait him into open combat. Another tap necessary. The clock now running low. Halfway defused as he comes off it. Redgar. Oh, he's got the flank and near miss. Yeah, Fiska dances his way out of that one, pulls a rotation to give him a little bit of extra help to push from Nats, though. He's already found one on the edge of the smoke. This leaves just one defender. They do this every single time. The poison orb removed to give him that extra vision, and that is going to be scanned at the back of the site. They have to give it up. Now, they don't have the paint shells. This is what they previously used for denial, but Bazzi has been able to catch out one. He most certainly has an opportunity yet again, an open door to potentially walk on through, but it's been tough. Gambit constantly winning out on these post plans, regardless of the disadvantage. Now a hero is needed. Munchkin sideswipe 27 HP. The operator comes out now. The blade storm has been popped. Plenty of options for him there, but as Addy falls, the numbers start to thin out yet again on that defensive side. The time not in their favor. They have to make their way forward. Shock darts are on the way. A flash in the oh blade no! storm, but he's blinded up. There'll be no defuse today. Gambit push up to a ninth. Once contact initiates. Here we go. Defo moving a little bit quicker this time. Doesn't have his operator in hand, leading the charge and going through the screen. They're just so unaware of these peaks. What is that from Redgar? Just takes off three heads as they attempt to get back into the site. They're gonna try and push through it. Defo's already waiting. It's a prime gaming flawless to close out the half of Dear Lord Gambit. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the reference I was expecting out of you, Tom, but, uh, you know, to each their own. Redgar opening this one up, and I think we start to get the violins out if it continues this way. Nats is up close at his Poison Orb, waiting for them to barrel on through. Now, of course, you have to be careful of the Sky Flash popping on in, and that's why Nats takes his orb away before they can. But he's dropped down right away. A fight ensues on the site. Shadoff being pushed down and executed. Munchkin has opened up so much space for Crazy Raccoons, but they need someone to follow up on it. They need a hero in this round to keep them alive. There's an Astra Star on the side of pole. A dash out, oh. Redgar oh. lining him up, and he can't finish him off. Oh, what? a whiff comes in at the wrong moment. Fisker has to clutch, and he can't. It's 12 to 1. Nats is actually going to play within his poison of The flash is so perfect. Straight through. Ness didn't even know what hit him, and oh. he's even going to trade his own life, the martyrdom, to give them the man advantage further into this round. This is not feeling good at all for Crazy Raccoons. They were at a man disadvantage moving in towards this site with pistols and a marshal. The first is taken down and the second follows swiftly. I think it's safe to say that this is Gambit's map. This is not a map that you want to be messing with the CIS squad on. And the Japanese side have learned that the hard way. It's not been great. 13 to 1. I guess a default in terms of their other maps for they'll be playing here. Yeah, most definitely. Well, let's see if Crazy Raccoon have got what it takes to make that comeback happen. Look at this dash in towards the A side. Lots of presence being made. Munchkin taken down by a quick right click. That's suboptimal to say the least. Neth is now trapped up above. No way out, so the flash comes in to help him. Looks like he's going to stick in position. Holding it down with his teammates, the wall to his back keeps him safe as the rest of Gambit looks to push in. The picks just keep on coming their way. They turn their attention upwards, and that's when Neth falls. And the post plant, well, there's not nearly enough time to run down that clock. I mean, Addy would need, well, firstly, to hit his lineups, and secondly, he would need no! to actually... <laughs> have a little bit less time left no. on the clock. That is unfortunate. We are one to zero now. <laughs> the heal to be popped in the very early stages of this round. In fact, that's quite good because Munchkin could have gotten healed up to about 100. So having that heal himself and he's still not looking too healthy. Plant comes in. Now we're going to look at the post plant and see if they can manage to keep these weaker weapons at range. Shao is Shade us away with two. He's moving towards the side. His teammates rallying to help. Low HP on Bassi. A clean kill on the death. And it's only 20 health on a Sova.
no chance for those post plans to work out. In fact, a clean defuse and a third round for Gambit with three players left alive, free upgrades everywhere. This couldn't get any worse for the attackers. They've pushed into the site, they've got the control, and as they look for the plant, they lose Munchkin right away. Yeah, oh. Watching for the flank, but Redgar with the instant headshot makes this look like a already oh. fleeting position. And now Ned's the only one standing. At least he's denied them another flawless round. But the fact is, it's five and zero. Running pretty low on knives at this point, just the three to work with. But there's the connection. Chronicle down. A little more going to be sought after as he starts to really creep up and catch them off guard. But no, the shot doesn't land. Shados survives, but he can't okay. get the kill to heal on up. Great damage done by Munchkin for the round that's in it. Crazy uh, Raccoon of spike plants and man advantage. Damn, damn it through the wall. So now he's aiming away just to make sure it's not legit, but no, never mind. We're going to have the push coming back in. There are still weaker weapons. Oh, he's oh, killed oh, the theory! Oh no, he's picked up one of his own, but Batty is still standing, trying to do work with the marshal. It's left all onto Ade. He's got his utility landing. He's trying to slow them down. Nat has actually run out of bullets, and he has to go for the repeek, but they're just sticking this all the way through, and he can't quite land the shot. It's so close. Gambles back in the other direction with... The fact that we've already got the Vipers pit locking out B, but there you go. Gone. Defo's been taken out. Munchkin stepping up with the off. Oh, Raider, he's instantly. Oh, oh, what? God. Okay, that might be a little bit of an ego peak, but I guess with the teammates he's got behind him, he's still feeling confident. Just going straight in for it, man, on top of the rope. That's ridiculous, but yeah, you saw them. They're reclining, they're relaxing. This is a team that feels confident and a scary opponent to try and take on. Oh, the kill. Oh, it means the that the Viper's, Viper's pit. pit is going to be dropped. There's the fall oh, down by Shados. God. Easy kill. Last player spotted. Weapon out. Ready to take the fight. And it is clean as can be. Elm of just like, oh, we're better than these guys. And then it just becomes a match I don't want to watch anymore because it feels me. Oh! <laughs> He's just spray as they try to walk I through we, a we, choke we... point. <laughs> oh, God, he's going he's gonna to put a snake bite down as the wall breaks. He can hold the angle right after. No problem. Flash doesn't even catch him. They're like, oh, don't worry. No one's holding close anymore. Flash didn't see him. Oh, yep. Yeah, he's still here. Nats is tucked in the corner, waiting to take the kills. Don't Fisker's going to go into it. Oh, no. he's even trying to wall bang him. Okay, don't that's do an it. ambitious play. They made him in with Stop. the second player spraying. Yeah, it's a 4K already for Nats. Absolutely farming. Oh. Chronicle, don't kill. Oh, come on, guys. Give him the ace. Push down middle alongside the drone. Now he is looking to they catch that flank. The confidence well, has boosted up. And exactly as you said, they had the crossfire. They've lost Munchkin, though. Is this where they start to reposition? Where a player starts to move? Yes, it is. And that's the spike. Shadoff spots a second player. And he is hungry to take him down. Trading out his teammate and eliminating Neth. A 3v2 develops. The spike is down in mid. And it doesn't get much worse than this, Tom. Yeah, they're not even going to fight for it. Patiently waiting. In fact, the rest rotating. They're going to spray support it down. them as well. Oh, I don't want to see this. They're they're lined up to spray it. He bakes it. Oh, Defo's playing with the blade sword, waiting for that peak. That's just disgusting. Absolutely filthy. That's second. He we gotta missed. Add one to the counter. That's we a... have actually seen a whip from Defo. The first yep. of possibly no more to come. Chronicle's gone down, though. That kill would have been so valuable in the early round. This is an opening for Crazy Raccoon to get in there, running out of those knives. Rengar's having a tough enough time. Forced into the reload and taken down. At last, we're actually seeing Crazy Raccoon get on the site, but have I jinxed it? Have I ruined it? It looks like Shados is here to fight. Arena up on top, spots <laughs> down below, drops him and peeks out for more. Everybody's tickled up over on that attacking side. Crazy Raccoon of so much to do. The recon, ooh, not quite going to reveal Defo, but it does force him back. And they can actually get the plant now. Munchkin getting rid of his knives there. Unfortunately, no target connected, but he has got the Vandal to play with. He's in a decent spot. I don't know if they'd expect him to be this close. The peak comes through and he has to give it away. Now his teammate's desperately low, but it's a fairly even playing field at the moment. The best chance we've seen from Crazy Raccoon. And Munchkin is actually going to take some ground, try and sneak his way through. He's already found himself one. It's left all onto Nats, potentially ending the chance for that 13-0. And they will get around on the board. Shados is going up. He's been spotted, though. Great recon to stop that aggression, but then they walk right into the opposite. Operator. Did miss that one. 
not not really that surprised. It was a, a blip on the radar for Defo as they attempt to try and re-peek into this one. It is wasting a fair bit of time, and they've still left players lurking around that spot. No reason for Nats to rotate. And Shados is still getting aggressive. Yeah, I, the feeling of this map, the feeling of this series, really, it just looks like Crazy Raccoon are being outclassed and Gar up close. The rest supporting from further they back. They're it. not going to check it at all. Oh, oh they did! They yeah. did. Fisker, Skyer, not is able to get that one done. But now they deal with Nat Shock Dart, Snake Bites. He's got two HP left, and he's still going out to fight. This man just doesn't give up, pumping in the Viper's Pit to keep them at bay at least a little longer. The Shock Dart could have taken him down, nice. but it won't. Not this time around, and now any notion of going towards the B site pretty much fades. Oh no, they have Defo holding onto the cross as well alongside Chronicle. So at this point, there isn't really anywhere for them to go. Uh, just in case they've somehow crossed, I think he's actually switched and they'll see the smokes, but there's a gap in it. There's a big gap in it for him to try and base into. They're going to try and peek versus Chronicle, and hey, they get the trade, putting it into at least a winnable position, but he's just so damn fast. Defo is going to put it down to Ade. Now his counter viper has two HP, but he's also Nats. And he's a bit of a rat. He's inside a Viper's pit, which is the worst part about this. He's holding that close angle as he walks on through. The steps are being made. Ten seconds left. He's got to run, and he will be taken down. Sure, we've seen it on Vine before, but uh, here on Icebox, not so much. Yeah, I, I think on other maps within the pool, maybe, but I, I think in this scenario, it didn't matter what side of what map or in any spot. It just looks like they're completely outclassing their opponents, and they've already kicked it off in the pistol, Mitch. Yes, they have. Picking up the opening, deleting Munchkin, and then slowing it down. He has, Still. A, he has a Sheriff and Shields. They've got a they raid boss them Nats. Over. Yeah. Well, I mean, or with did the he way... get it from Munchkin? He might no, have. no, no. Oh, sorry, he's actually on Munchkin's body, so maybe he did. Maybe he might he have. Either way, it. he is destroying them with it. Coming in with big damage onto Fisker, left on 45. Snake bites and shock darts on the way. Look how quickly they make that decision. That's not a lineup. That's not a position you commonly put your snake bite shock dart down in. They just quickly are like, yo, 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 let's hit him at the U till now. Force him into a fight. They make these calls so quickly. Their comms must be clean. And I'll tell you what, their aim certainly is. Good observation, Mitchell. Now, we're, we're going to see if they can get anything in this round. A single kill. Some might be looking at this as a potential. 30 seconds left. Do you know what? Spike planted. I do indeed. And it is there indeed. A prime gaming flawless coming out of gamut. <laughs> 12 to 1 they go. And at this point, I mean, we're laughing, but I feel like Whoa. crying. With Munchkin, those has got a lot of ground. Now, it's being watched by There's Gambit, but... Only tentatively. They might not expect anybody to be behind them this quickly, and the timing could actually work out for Munchkin. Now sat in the corner, will he actually clear the angle of Chronicle? And if he does, does he decide to kill him? Oh, Munchkin. He sat back, waiting for an opportunity, and there it is. Nat's taken down on the post plan. Chronicle, quick to trade. It's there just in time to save his teammate's life. The defuse tap. They have to go out and make sure that it's not coming in. Those post line lineups are here. And a quick spray down to close it out. 13 to 1, back to back. And there is no doubt that Gambit have come to Masters 3 on form. Yeah. Jesus, like, I, I, I genuinely think that's one of the most brutal series I've ever had to cast. It's probably the fastest day we've ever had. Like, it's like, hi hey, guys, do you want to come in and cast one best of three? Well, that, that, I, I feel like I've only just arrived. Got and I'm one already, half. Already getting to go again. Like, they've, they've got, what was it, Rug coming up next. Like, that those guys get to come in and then see, like, the Brazilians try and take down the guys in NA, so. Well, you know what, Tom, I've just heard, uh, because you're so happy without short the days, you're not getting paid today. Unlucky.